You okay, cat? You're back broken? What is up, everybody? It's uh, it's sunny and bright and the sun's out. I'm gonna show you how to do a shove today. Not a pop shove it, because they are pretty much two different tricks. I've already taught a pop shove it on this channel. I'll leave a link in the description down below to that video, just in case you kind of feel like you want to move past shoves and actually start like popping them up in the air and getting some height on them. But in this video, I just want to teach the very basic shove movement. It doesn't have to pop on the ground. I mean, it barely even has to leave the ground. Shove is just uh, this simple motion right here. It is easy, but no worries if you don't get it the first time, and everything takes a lot of practice in skateboarding. So don't be discouraged and keep your chin up. All right, foot position. I like to have uh, my back foot toes hanging off a little bit on the edge of the board, especially on this uh, little side rail right here, because that's really going to help you get that scoop you need when you go to scoop the board. As for your front foot, you kind of want it like a little bit, maybe even over like the back bolts on the front side. Your front foot's barely going to do anything. It, it's going to like lift up that much. Once you uh, initiate the shove motion of the board, this front foot's going to kind of follow the board around. So it's just going to stay barely above it. And that's going to keep the board from flipping on you. And uh, your front foot is also what's going to catch the board. So your front foot's going to be like the uh, order and your back foot's going to be like the chaos. Your back foot's going to put out the energy of the scoop and then your front foot's going to control that energy and catch it. Even for a more advanced skater, this is a great way to turn your board around. And now that I got foot position covered, I'm going to give you um, some examples at different angles and different slow-mo speeds. And hopefully everyone will learn this trick because it's kind of like a fundamental trick in skateboarding. It's great for control mostly, and uh, it's also great for switching your board around. So let's get started. It also kind of helps when you land to uh, lean into that front foot just a little bit. That way you're not leaning too far back and then it won't go out from underneath you. If for any reason fakie shoves feel more comfortable, you can always just land those first. It really doesn't matter what you land, everything helps. From this angle you should be really able to see how my back foot is scooping it and how my front foot it's catching it and then my back foot comes back on behind my front foot. All right, hopefully that was uh, plenty of examples, plenty of angles to show you, plenty of slow-mo footage. I hope all the tips I gave you works out for you. You can change up your foot position, but just remember that you want a foot to kind of have a scoop to it and you want your front foot to have a controlled catch to it. So you kind of want your front foot more on the board than usual and that will really help keep your front foot with your board when it goes to land. And uh, once you start popping them, they look amazing. And not that many people do shoves like downstairs or anything. A lot of people also really like doing pop shove it's into grinds. It's just an all around like fundamentally great trick. All right, everybody, that's it for this video. I really, really hope you learned shoves. It's a great introduction to skateboarding. Hit that like button if this helped you or you enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest video. And leave a comment down below. Always like hearing from you people. Oh, and of course, leave questions. I will be happy to answer any questions you're having about having troubles with this trick. And uh, also, if you leave in the comment section, somebody else might even be able to help you. And with the combined uh, force of the skateboarding council, we can teach you how to do a shove it. Have a wonderful, fantastic day or night full of joy and learning and appreciation for one another learn shove it's goodbye